In a season where who's the fastest has changed almost on a weekly basis, misfortune and dubious strategy calls are all the more painful. Red Bull, through a mix of outright pace and fortuitous events, has thus far gained a sizable advantage in the championship. In Austria, Ferrari managed to make some amends, and team principal Mattia Bonotto has explained to Motorsport how they believe they turned their fortunes around. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Ferrari reveal how they can beat Red Bull. Bonotto started off by pointing out where Red Bull previously held the advantage. We had a disadvantage on the Red Bull in terms of straight line speed, especially in DRS zones, so the power of their DRS compared to ours was greater. He then spoke about the upgrade they introduced. We worked a lot on it with a new rear wing we introduced, first only on one, which was on Charles' car in Canada, but we have had it on both cars since the UK. He then confirmed that they have now mostly negated Red Bull's advantage. With that new rear wing, we have simply reduced the gap. We have closed the gap in terms of speed. I think they have still got a slight advantage, but very little or invisible. He signed off by clarifying the drivers also played a big role in Austria. In Austria, we were faster not only because of the car, but because those two drivers did a fantastic weekend. That was in terms of car balance, car setup, understanding the tyres, managing the tyres, and driving on track. I think drivers make the difference as much as the car. Fast feed. McLaren's Lando Norris suggested that issues such as sausage curbs are a critical topic that we need to sort out sooner rather than later. With Formula 1 cars running lower to the ground than ever, and stiffer than ever, we need to act. When these cars hit these curbs, you do not ride them, you can be launched into the air. Red Bull's Max Verstappen revealed that he had never had an idol, although he has extremely respected many athletes for their achievements. But I've never had anyone to emulate, I've only ever looked after myself. If you are completely addicted to an idol, if you want to copy a hero, you can only lose. Because you can only be as good as them, but never better. That's why I've always tried to be myself. Ferrari Charles Leclerc thinks that consistency from the race directors has always been a thing that they've searched for, and you can always be better. Obviously, two race directors, it makes it probably a bit more difficult. Whether it's impossible to achieve a good level of consistency? I don't think so. So yeah, I don't really have any solutions for now, but I do believe that probably with one race director, it might be a little bit easier to manage. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner expects Paul Ricard to be a bigger problem. You can really gain time there, and of course, you have hectares of asphalt there, so that also invites you to drive off track. McLaren's team principal Andreas Seidel, meanwhile, explained that all the teams and drivers wanted more consistency, and that's why we have these black and white rules. So you have to stay within the track limits, and that means you have to stay within the white lines, although we also got a penalty. I'm honestly happy with this, because it's easy for everyone to understand. Will we see an abundance of track limits infringements during the French Grand Prix at Paul Ricard? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.